Hey guys, um, kind of a surreal moment in time this video is going to be too. Um, so I don't know where to start, where to stop, but I'm just going to kind of dive into it. Uh, I had a dream around the 3rd, I think it was the 3rd, that was Sunday. Um, and my birthday was the 4th, so I'm going to kind of intertwine a little bit of that, but and it's for a purpose. But this dream, I was dreaming, and all night long, it was a pretty long dream, seemed like. It seemed like I was dreaming all night long, but it was a very short dream. Lord kept telling me Psalms 108. And so I was like, okay, so I read it and read it. I'm just going to put the scriptures out there that what he gave me, tell you, share some things because there's too many things but I'm gonna try to tie them together as best I can you'll have to look at some of my other other videos um, and you'll see the main theme so then that morning I was praying and the Lord kept saying eight eight you know and then he said then he said go to Isaiah eight and eight Jeremiah eight and eight and Revelations eight and eight and I did, guys. I'm telling you, those are some other scriptures. They're all tied in. And it's all tied in. Then he tied it into this election infection mess, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to tie that all together in a second. It's a mess, guys. But it's just part of the overall mess. The mess is created by sin, guys. And the message was that we missed the date because we've so laser focused on man-made stuff. The election has honestly become an idol. I'm not here to, to prophesy who's winning, going to lose, who won, who didn't any of that we've got our focus we've got to get our focus back on Jesus and this is not a compromising message guys just because I want to play along I don't want to play along the real issue was all this you know I get banned been banned on Facebook I couldn't even post post a comment on a a post that Billy Bill, that Franklin Graham posted. You do you Facebook, you can't do that. Can't share it, can't post it, can't comment. Banned again. Ban, 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 ban. Can't say can't say anything COVID related, whatever. But yet the media can just hammer and beat us to death with it. The pandemic. The, but guys my main theme behind this all is the life and death, but it's the abortion issue that we're, that we're taking innocent lives. But then it's not just innocent lives, it's the born and the unborn. Look at some of my messages, some of them are very old, a couple years even. And the Lord is very adamant about that, the born and the unborn. We treat homeless people really bad, guys. Come on down to Dallas. Give me a couple hours. I can send you on the street with a friend of mine, Aaron Buttrick with Noble Life Outreach. It'll change your tune quick, pretty quick. We treat those people really bad. Those are lives that matter too, guys. Yes, I know they screwed up. I get it. How many of y'all have, have ever screwed up? How many of y'all somebody had to reach for? How many of y'all had everything together before you got saved? Many people still don't have it together. <clears throat> but it, the reason why I said that about my birthday is because I was sitting there thinking about my birthday on the 4th and this dream. That's the main reason why. That's the main reason why, of course. Uh, you know, I'm just going to spit it out there, guys. Like, don't like, whatever. I'm, that's the main reason why I voted for Trump. But I'm not necessarily a Trump fan. I don't like the way that he talks to people. I don't like the way that what happened in the 2016 presidential primaries. He talked to people on the Twitter stuff. 
but it's one of the main things is his stance against abortion. And what are they, everything is about that, guys. It's about gay rights, abortions, COVID, just trash, lies, deceit. That's what I'm, that's what we're up against. Sin. Face it. Come on, guys. I was sitting there thinking about, you know, how grateful and thankful I am to be 60. But then how many people don't? How many people didn't get a chance to have a birthday? Or how many people whose birthdays have been trashed? It's not such a great day. And then backtrack a little bit. Long story, but I was in the hospital for over two weeks. Three emergency rooms. Diabetic, got a really bad infection in my toe, didn't see it for weeks, my foot hurt. But then when I looked down, I was like, man, my whole leg was chilly, red hot pepper. Red as this orange mask. Um, it was red, bad. Every emergency room I went to, long story, but man, cut it off. And I prayed about it, and I was like, the, the Lord said, no, get rid of the infection first. So that's what I'm saying. We've got to get rid of the infection, the sin that's in, from within. Why is it so easy for people to lie? Cheat, steal, kill, destroy. Because the enemy's behind it, guys. You're behind the mask. You can't say anything about COVID, but yet the media can blast it out there. They want to, man, it's pretty, you know, it's almost, it's heinous how they're destroying b babies' lives and even the born lives. Come on down to Dallas, man. I just left a suburb of Dallas and I watched all these homeless people in carts because the city was there and they uprooted them all and they, they tear up the tent cities or whatever and they kick people out and they, they destroy their stuff. If, they, if they're not there, they just throw it away. Very inhumane. The shelters are closed. You got no place to go, guys. Their lives don't matter. The businesses, the small businesses, the big businesses are making tons of money, record-breaking years, and putting people out of business. People are losing everything. Literally. We don't have to. We're children of the king, but I'm saying if you're not serving him, it's gotten really, really brutal. So that's where we need to focus on, and that's why we missed the date, because the date that we missed is because God, I'm not, I don't like this. I was like, man, God, I don't want to put that out there. That sounds almost kind of corny and surreal that we missed the date, that we're all focused on the 6th, and it's really the 8th. There's something going on, guys. I don't know exactly what, but I know what God, I know God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. And He's going to do it so that He gets the glory, so that we are the light of the world again. Maybe even ugly, guys, the things that are going on right now. I haven't been watching the news. I turned my TV off a long time ago, a couple of years ago almost. A little bit on the internet, people storming the Capitol or whatever. I don't know what's going on right now, guys. God does. But what I'm saying is that we've got to get back to the reality of it, of what this is really all about. Nothing to do with Donald Trump or Biden aren't going to save the day, guys. Jesus is. He's not even trying to save the day. He just wants to set people free. We better, and we better not act like the world anymore. And be conformed to his image. Be about our father's business. That doesn't mean lie down and get run over either. This is not a compromising message, guys. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm also saying don't be that barking dog either. <clears throat> What's God telling you? And you're not going to get it. Read Luke 8 and 8. It ends with, He that had an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit is to say. It's talking about the, 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 it's about the seeds that were sown and they were sown on good ground. And they brought forth fruit. But many of them, it's all about different 
just got to read them. But then the other part that he told me about those scriptures was, I said, well, I went to Philippians. They're down at 8.8, 8, of course. He said, go to 1.8. There's not an 8 8, go to 1 8 in Genesis, but the uh, Psalms 108, and then so the scripture were Psalms 108, that was the first one, the whole thing, and then the second one was Jeremiah 8 19 through 23, and the same in Isaiah, I believe. But in no, and then Revelations 8 and 8. Just read them, guys. Probably wouldn't hurt to read all of it. Sorry, I didn't write them down. I just, it's been kind of surreal, and I wasn't even wanting to put this message out. Um, so if it's a little off, I'm not trying to be off. It's just so much that's going through. But what I want to get to main the one of the main points of this is guys is we're not going to win this without being in prayer seeking god that's why i said that's why i've been so adamant about the five in the morning prayer when it's quiet nobody's around you don't have this thing stuck up your behind or this thing that i'm talking to now the computer on or you don't have you know the news channel on you're not distracted by your wife or your husband or your kids i get it some people can't do that they, you know, if you're if you're blessed enough to still have a job, you might be working the night shift, and you might, you know, get out. I've worked nights before. I got off at six in the morning, so five in the morning would have been really hard to pray. It's extremely busy at five in the morning, trying to finish up to go home. I get that. So does God. What I'm saying is, if you're available, if you've got the availability to meet me there five in the morning because we're not going to get our answers in this in our direction and be about our father's business one guy one of the preachers said he said man you, so many people are saying they're not hearing from god that's because you had no intention of listening to what god's telling you anyhow he knows the intent of your heart that's what i'm saying guys it's a hard issue all this other stuff is a hard issue too it's an evil hard issue Quit Democrats, Republicans, quit all that business, kind of, almost, honestly, yes and no. We can get pretty distracted by this idle stuff, even the politics of it, even the, you know, I'm going to say this probably won't be well received, but that's okay. You know, maybe you should take off off your hat doesn't have to be something that we that we made up I can read between the lines i'm going to end with this guys this was another dream i had and it was a mountain and it turned out to be a mountain range many many mountains things that we thought were solid and secure they were their idols i'm going to say one of them but one of them was Hollywood. Others were some of the social media, some of these biggest retailers in the world, different things that we've idolized. But it's all been idolized because of the monetary, mostly because of the money game. That's what all this is about. What do you, why, why is the Planned Parenthood so big? It's a money-making machine, guys. The love of money. Why do they want to have all this pandemic and virus well all this stuff's coming down guys that's what i saw in this saw in this vision they crumbled to the ground and i'll go with this scripture so in matthew 21 42 the stone that the builder rejected unless we fall on the word repent to humble ourselves it says that stone must be fall on the stone in, in humility, or if it falls on us, it's going to grind its powder. That's not necessarily a warm, fuzzy feeling message. All these idols are coming down, guys. 
I missed the date, and I didn't want to even put that out there because it's like, man, I could end up with egg on my face, looking stupid or whatever. And then I was like, it's not about you anyhow. It's not. So it's like, okay, God. I wasn't stalling and delaying. I just, it, it just, it couldn't come out. It, wouldn't, it just wasn't there yet. I wanted to on the 4th. I was like, but I wanted to do it before the 6th. But I just, it wouldn't. It just wasn't there. So I was like, okay, God, well, I kept praying about it, praying about it, praying about it. And so that's it, guys. We're missing what God's wanting to do. Jesus, the Holy Ghost and his word. Because we're so focused on man and this mess, which is sin. Most of it, it's all sin. Of course, there was plenty of fraud and deceit and stuff. Absolutely. All different kind of levels. But it was all because of sin. Same with all this COVID garbage. They want to usher in sin, the mark of the beast, control, control everything. Who's who's behind that? The enemy of our soul, guys. And that's why that's why we're not going to win this battle in the man-made stuff. That's why the date is is important. Because it's a couple days later, it's not going to be, it's it's like Gideon's army, guys, okay? What did he tell them? Can't let you win this battle. With your 33,000 troops or whatever. Because then you'll think you want it by your might. Pared it down to almost nothing. Gave him some seemingly silly things to do to win the battle. It's not about who's the president and who's not. It's about sin. It is about evil versus good. It's about are we gonna are we gonna just lie down and die, comply and die? That's why I put those those messages out, guys. No, like I said, it's not a compromising message. I don't wear a mask. I haven't worn one since this whole thing started. 99% of the time, there's just very, very few stores. One that I just recently came to that I wear because they kept yelling at me. But And then I, and then I ended up wearing it because the manager kept asking me and asking me every time I go in the store. Most of them know. Most of them, they, they, you have a mask in, it's in my pocket. I don't wear it. 99% of the time at these hospitals, I didn't wear it. Doctors saw tons of doctors. I was in there for a long time, guys. I lived at ground zero of a major hospital. This city has over a million people. Two weeks, 24-7, in the bed. Man. Was censored, was censored by YouTube. They took down one of the videos that I put out about it, about the pandemic. What about it being a lie? See, he's real, yes. It's killing people. There's plenty of diseases out there, guys, that are killing people. The hospitals were full of it. And they were full of people with COVID. Yes. But not the way they weaponized it. To destroy God's people. To destroy the world, really. So, we got to get past the infection. We've got to stop the infection, which is sin. We've got We've got to stop all the lies and deceit from wherever it's coming from, guys. We know where it's coming from. It's coming from the enemy, from the devil himself. He's portraying it. We're distracted by all these things in the natural. And that's why a couple days from now, it, it, I don't know what's going to take place. It's it looks like it's pretty ugly out there right now. I saw a little bit. I, I, was trying, I was like, man, let me check and see what's going on on the news. And there's really nothing yet. I haven't been watching the news. I'm just kind of doing it by the computer. So I don't know. Maybe you guys know something that I don't. I'm fine with that. I'm just telling you there's something coming. This is... This is I, 
it's time to sound the alarm, guys. But it's not an alarm. That's what the Lord is telling me about about this dream too. It's it's like a call to the wedding. It's like the dinner bell. He's saying, "Come on, come on, guys, come home." There's so much more that I want to say, and I'm just gonna have to put out different messages. But we're missing the mark of the high calling because we're so you know, confused might even be a word for it, dismay, disgruntled, angry, just, but all of us are, guys. Saved and unsaved. Why? That's why a handful of people can rule the roost and just be greedy and run amok. They don't care, man, look at all the stuff that they don't care. They do their own thing. They, you know, when was the last time, I don't watch the news, but the few times I see it on the YouTube or whatever, on the computer, I don't ever see them wearing a mask. None of those commentators do. Chris Como, the governors, none of those people do, hardly ever. They go to restaurants, they do whatever they want to do. tell you to do something different. Fear and it's abuse of power and you know it's all about that greed and that money, the love of money. Why does it say the love of money is the root of all evil? Why do you think most people aren't millionaires and billionaires? Because God wants you to come home. He doesn't want you, you know, most of us wouldn't be able to handle it. I'd rather not have it if it's going to cause me to not get in to it into heaven to see the king to be part of part of the throne at his feet soon not it takes real good care of me and my wife and my dogs and my kids i don't really have a need for anything yes i do but i mean not the same it's been very faithful I'm the one that hadn't been faithful. I'm a prodigal son for a long time. But anyhow, that's a whole other story. But So I've got that experience too, guys. I'm not just making this stuff up to have something to say on YouTube. I'm telling you that there's a reason why this has to come out that, we've, that we're missing. And we're focused on, on man-made election. And on, you know, when... We need to focus on the Word and the Bible. It says the government shall rest upon his shoulders. It's Isaiah 9, I think it's 6. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, King of Kings. Written but one king. Cash is not king. Jesus is king. We made cash king. That's another idol. We've got way too many idols, guys. Well, we've got, America's got more idols than India. That one's free. Love you guys. Um... Talk to you soon. Uh, let's focus on what God's going to do in this. Because something's shifting in the spirit. We love you guys. Uh, check out some of my other videos and other ministry videos of other ministers. Please, please, please pray. Ask God, what does he want you to see, hear, do, be? And do it. Love you.